Bodies! Well, I shouldn't be happy in this video because it's not something to feel happy about, but this is my face. I like to smile. <laughs> something happened with our Duke. Recently, I was not here. I was in Bhutan. And, uh, well, basically, this motorcycle crashed. Yes. An accident happened. But, luckily, nothing much happened to the rider. Nor the motorcycle in general. But, because we installed something on the motorcycle, which looks fancy, which the whole world thinks that this product actually protects your motorcycle. But if you remember, I made a video a year back mentioning that this product can actually have very bad effect on your motorcycle in case of a crash. You're actually better off without these products than installing them. I know I'll be taking away business from many companies by saying this, but I am here for the biking community, not you know, just for the business. So I spoke about this myth and now this myth got busted with my own motorcycle. Okay, so now Nitin, yes. stop smiling, please. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> so this young man took the Duke out when I was in Bhutan. Uh, he had to meet his girlfriend. So he, you know, just stole the Duke without telling anyone. He took the Duke out. Uh, I don't know what he did. It's a secret. No one knows about it. But the bike crashed. Right? Yes. Would you want to confess on camera? Yes. Go ahead. What happened? So I was the the day before it was rained totally. Okay. It was drenched. Uh, loud. So, yeah, it was drenched. Uh, so the was road coming. was road yeah. had water. Totally okay. water filled uh, with. Okay. So obviously to come our home we need to take a right turn. Mm -hmm. So where I was taking it was totally filled with water. Mm -hmm. I thought like on top like some upar ka pani, but it was in the depth. I did not notice and I took a turn at uh, 10 to 15 km per hour speed. Mm -hmm. So the front tire got skid. So I kept my right leg on the uh, last mm -hmm. on the land. But my even right uh, leg was slipped in the water and I fell on the towards the right. You have the longest legs that I have ever seen in the world. Okay, but still, he also could no, not save the bike. My, even yeah. my shoe didn't, uh, didn't have the grip. It's okay. To Anything happened to you? Nothing. Nothing happened to you? So that small cut on my jeans, that's okay. it. Cool. So, now. So basically what happened, he was taking a turn. He lost traction. He fell. Uh, the water with the great ABS. Anyway, we'll talk about this yeah. later on. Uh, so he fell. The bike fell onto the right side, right? Yes, towards okay. the right. Huh? And uh, speed was 15 kilometers an hour or something? 10 to 15 meters. That's it. Are I you sure turn. about it? I was taking a turn. At 10 only 10 to 15, 15 kilometers an hour. Okay. Obviously, in that speed only we take a turn. Yeah. And now remember, on this motorcycle, I'm going to be playing a couple of clips right now. Watch it. I fell on the racetrack at about 70 kilometers an hour. Okay. Proper fall. Nothing. I got up and started riding the bike again. It happened twice, okay? Many of my, uh, you know, older subscribers know about this. Thank you. It's good, it's good. Uh, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. The bike is good. It's good, it's good. Sit. You okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah.
but now this bike fell like this at 15 speed and please because of this because of this so called great frame slider which the moment people buy a bike they go and install this okay because it looks cool crash bobbins frame sliders so this is what happened this is a very important structural you uh, know part of the whole motorcycle on the duke 390 and this frame slider when it actually hit the ground at 15 kilometers an hour probably say even 20 kilometers an hour whatever this has uh, cracked and it is bent and it's broken on both the sides here and here okay uh, this is really 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 bad i'm covering the brand of uh, you know the company of these frame sliders because i don't want them to you know i don't want their name to become bad because this is not about a company this is about the product so any company could make this okay so imagine if the crash would have been at 60 or 70 kilometers an hour like how i had on the racetrack the whole thing would have just cracked okay and along with it it would have bent the frame also this is the main frame okay so now this would have been very expensive okay you have you would have had to replace the frame and do everything labor job uh, you know time spare parts and when i fell on the racetrack you know what i had i had the traditional you know normal crash guards which go like this the arch kind of thing which come stock nothing they are big and they you know why they did the job better because they have multiple points okay and it's an arch arch distributes the weight the impact so they they bend but along with that bending process they take the impact they absorb it so well a huge myth busted at the cost of my motorcycle <laughs> so anyhow we'll get this repaired now we have our own company so we'll do it um, so buddies don't be in a hurry to put frame sliders i know this uh, stock crash guards they look kind of ugly but they are really really beneficial and a uh, lot of other damage also happened that is uh, you know the no, these hand guards knuckle guards whatever we call them but it is okay this happened when i fell on the race track also so that is fine and the ah and the brake lever this broke you see this you know this brake lever in my previous two crashes it never broke because the crash guard is big enough okay but here it broke because this is not big enough all right even that is the reason on the rc390 i haven't put crash guards that is the reason on the i mean crash guard means frame sliders i haven't put the frame sliders and that is the reason even on the yamaha r1 i have not put frame sliders because it is better that the motorcycle falls and slides worst case the fairing the fiber is going to get scratches or it's going to break but it's just a fiber we can buy new fiber and replace it but if the frame bends we are dead okay at least on the duke 390 the frame is not very expensive but imagine if it's a super bike imported motorcycle you are dead <laughs> dead means <laughs> money bank gone sab gaya so that's it buddies this is a very important myth busted and anyhow take care thank you if you're not subscribed to this channel you'll miss out on important things like this do think about subscribing and uh, you know about our company inline 4 engineering inline 4 uh, uh, team ashwin come over so the man behind the camera is tarun he's a very important part too uh, you know i spoke about all of this i'll put up a link in the description of this video about our company anyways that's a different uh, topic altogether that's it do give this video a uh, like i know you might think how can we like the video when vikash's bike crashed but it's okay give a like thank you bye bye